from the Marie Claire Power Trip. Uh, okay, Am I on? Yes. yes, you're on. We're both on. All right. So um, this is my I'm friend. Ready. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to introduce each other. So this is my friend Danae Ringelman, who is a co-founder of Indiegogo, which is a wildly successful crowdfunding platform that you all know, which um, which funds a lot of entrepreneurs in tons of industries, including the nonprofit industry, to start new businesses or scale. Or scale businesses. And this is Layla John, who's an amazing social entrepreneur with Samasaurus, doing all kinds of amazing things, helping people give work to people to create opportunities all across the world. So I'm excited to connect. We never see each other. <laughs> and so when we run into each other at conferences around the world, it's very exciting. Exactly. And now we're obliged to do a Facebook Live every time that happens. Yes. Um, it's true. So my first question is for Danae. Yes. Um, you were a little delayed this morning I for was. a very good reason. Thank you for your patience, everybody. <laughs> um, so tell me why. So I had the pleasure of waking this up this morning with a clock duck. And anybody who's been a mom or a new mom, they know that. And so I apologize. It's one of those experiences when you're pumping, um, you just got to keep doing it uh, until you're really sick because you just don't want to get inside this. And I know that's really personal, but I, a lot of moms have been there and it's really painful. <laughs> so you do what you got to do. And suddenly, uh, you know, when you have a kid, it's the most amazing thing in the world. When you're running a business, it's the most amazing thing to do. Um, and so balancing the two has been a tremendous challenge, opportunity, um, but things like waking up and having a plug deck, you guys deal with that no matter what's going on. Right. <laughs> and what's it been like coming back to Indiegogo, it's like this super fast growth tech company having a newborn? Um, it's been amazing. I mean, the time away has actually just increased the gratitude I felt for our team. Um, I always loved them before. I love them even more now. Um, it's just, it, you know, changing the world, as you know, is a full team effort. And um, it's not any one of us driving it individually. It's all of us kind of showing up every day. And so that's been the biggest um, uh, feeling I've had. It's just this tremendous gratitude coming back. And then, you know, the classic, like, turning on turning off your brain you know baby work baby work it's <laughs> I feel like a robot sometimes but in a way friendship friendship friendship, friendship. <laughs> yeah, friendship if you have time for it um it's just it's, in, in a way it's i'm just really it's blessed it's like it's it's a i love it over here i love it over here it's like a big it's, it's a high class problem i guess to be able to have work that you love and have a family that you it's the most important thing in the world um so anyways but you miss, I haven't seen you for a year because <laughs> you've been off traveling the world. Like, yeah. what are you working on right now and why are you passionate about it? Yeah, so we have uh, we have Sama Group, which is growing. So Sama Source is um, trending towards break even this year, which um, was just Woo. written about in Fast Company. We're um, one of the few nonprofits this early on to get so close and hopefully hit that mark this year, which means that we'll be sustainable off of our earned revenue. Um, so we've been growing a lot in the technology industry, serving clients with services like image tagging and data entry um, and a bunch of other data services out of our office in Nairobi. And we have now moved about 35,000 people out of poverty from $2 a day to over $8 a day through this model of getting work. So we've, um, we just launched in November online and, and this fall we'll be at a couple of major retail outlets. But we just launched a skincare line called Luxury, which is also in a way part of Samba Group. It's partly owned by the nonprofit. And I think we're probably one of the only luxury beauty brands to be to be owned by a nonprofit in part. And um, and so I think that structure is gonna in the long run be a real differentiator for us. And the mission of Luxury is also about giving work through the mm -hmm. supply chain, just like Sama. And you women. were telling me yesterday that it's also about making sure that what we're putting on our skin is clean and healthy. It's, our skin is like six, the largest organ we have. Yes. Um, and 60% of what you put on your skin gets absorbed into your body, mm -hmm. which Gwyneth Paltrow said on stage yesterday. Thank you, Gwyneth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, the, the idea is to, is to um, bring to market skincare that's safe enough to eat mm -hmm. with organic ingredients that are actually really powerful, that have mm -hmm. a lot of strong phytochemicals in them that can mm -hmm. make a big difference for your skin. So we don't want to compromise on products um, with social impact, and that's been our mission from the beginning. Nice. Well, we're here at this Power Trip event um, put on by Marie Claire, and it's, it's been it's a really starting. interesting... It's starting, so you should probably go. Um, but real quick, like, let's, let's talk about how, you know, as entrepreneurs, we're more than entrepreneurs, hopefully. There's yeah. more things going on in life. So how do you, um, how do you balance, I hate that word balance, how do you um, tackle connecting, integrating everything you're doing with your work, with your life? 
God, it's so Great hard. Question. And you have to answer that question too, because <laughs> you have like another person in the picture um, that you created, that yeah. you 3D printed. 3D. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, the elusive balance question. I think um, for me, we were talking about this yesterday. I started meditating really seriously. I'm actually on now a 34 day meditation streak where I've been doing it every day for at least 20 minutes in the morning, sometimes also 20 minutes in the evening. And a friend of mine has this great quote that you should meditate as if your life depends on it. Mm -hmm. um, I asked him like, how frequently you know, do you really need to do this? And he said, do it as if your life depends on it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so true. Like so often we, you know, we take care of our physical health sometimes, um, but we don't really take care of our emotional or mental health the way that we should. And as entrepreneurs, that can be so fragile. I mean, you're constantly being wound down. You're constantly being challenged in that mm -hmm. arena. And so if you don't take the time to sort of build up your reserves and put mm -hmm. some deposits in that bank, mm -hmm. you can go bankrupt mm -hmm. <laughs> easily, which mm -hmm. I've, I've discovered. And then when you're, and then it's kind of a vicious cycle. Like when you start, you know, not being happy, that starts manifesting in other areas of your life and, and kind of spiraling out of control. So for me, meditation and grounding in something like that every morning has been hugely helpful over the last 34 days. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can keep it going. It's amazing. <laughs> Apparently it's 30 days to form a habit, so pass that marker. <laughs> I know for me it's um, trying to, just, maybe it's through meditation, maybe it's just trying to take a moment, even if there's a lot going on around you, to just stop and be present and see your emotions kind of whooping through you. I know when I get tired, when I'm on the road a lot, or now with a baby, I'm, it's actually forcing me to prioritize a lot better. Um, I would not say prioritization was my strength before. I don't would say it's my strength now, but having a baby helps me there. And, um, and when you're forced to prioritize, you're forced to ask yourself, what's the most important thing? And then sometimes the answer to that is just taking a breath. Just sitting here and being like, okay, there's a lot going on right now. Um, and I'm not sure which direction to go, go in. My mind's everywhere. My emotions are everywhere. So I need to just clear the space. Um, but remembering that is hard. So especially if you're a person of action, you know, it's like you yeah. want to like you want to solve the problem. Yeah, and with every action something. in the world, there's an equal and opposite reaction. As someone who's a person of action, you're constantly <laughs> reacting. And so the challenge is to see your own reaction, make sure that reaction is intentional. Sometimes a reaction is very important. Like sometimes if something's wrong in the world, you need to make it right. But you want to be conscious to, to why you're doing it. You're not just blindly reacting. Yeah. So anyhow, um, yeah. So this is a quick hello. We're experimenting <laughs> hello. with Facebook Live. I never get to um, do this. So thanks. Oh, and I've already lost my fine. voice in just a day. I think this was our first like real Facebook Live. We were both yesterday trying this out in the table. This is our first like actual Facebook Live connection mm -hmm. to our community. So mm -hmm. we should do more of these. Yeah. So yeah. the next time we connect. So anyway, yeah. if you guys have questions, let us know. Yes. Um, it's been super fun to be at this event, meeting some amazing women who are changing the world. And my favorite moment yesterday was talking to Tyra Banks. Oh my god, that was amazing. Flossom. She flossom. coined the term flossom, which is flawed plus awesome. Um, Just embracing your flaws. We're not perfect. No one is. Um, it's so true. And if yeah. you can just... Not even Tyra. Not even a supermodel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. What hope is there for the rest of us? Oh, you gotta um, cut off here. Oh, it's okay. Okay, now I'm like... Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, we're both trying to film simultaneously yeah. on our phones being live. So, Anyways. anyway, um, we'll do this again sometime soon. Yeah. Where are we meeting again? Founders? What, maybe at... Yeah, we're on the, like, women tech conference circuit, so... Yes. <laughs> Inevitably, we'll be in the same room again in a month. Or Social Impact Summit, social or impact. Social Entrepreneurship Summit, That's or right. at a circuit, or... Making things in the ha world happen circuit. Wisdom, or the wisdom circuit. The wisdom circuit. Yeah. yeah. I we think both did uh, talks back to back at Wisdom 2.0, which was really fun. Yeah. I think we're very lucky. We get yeah. to do something that we absolutely love. We get to meet really interesting people and our teams. I know about you, but our teams make it all worth it. Yeah. So, and our do. customers. They so. do. All right, guys. Have a good Take day. care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>